Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Stick around to see how you can get 10% off your first purchase. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Junkyard Digs. Today, we're doing some weird shit again. I'm here with Junkyard Mook, my brother's on the camera. And we found two 90s Ford tow trucks, both turbo diesel trucks, both abandoned, but sold to us. We have titles for these trucks, they are legally ours, but the black one is locked and we cannot get in, and the red one does not have an ignition key. Now I believe that this is a 7.3 IDI truck and the red one's a power stroke. This one's a 4x4, uh, and that one's a manual. So. They've got potential to be pretty good. We'll find out. So first we're going to start with the red one and then we're going to move on to the black one in a separate video. You can find that right up here when it comes out. But we're going to see if we can get them both running today. Let's go dig into that power stroke. Now not to be one to make excuses right away, but most of my knowledge lies with gasoline engines and carburetors. This was a great learning experience for me and I ask for your patience during this video. However, there is one thing I already know from watching zip ties and bias plies. I need to go pick something up. God damn it, I hate diesel revivals. Okay, this ought to do it. Alright, so these have been here for 5-6 years from what I know. Uh, like I mentioned, this one's locked. We cannot get in. As you can see, they're completely sunk in the ground. This one's got two front flats. That's going to be great. We're locked out of this guy, but they are full. Pretty big rigs. Uh, this one's an F-350, and that one's just an F Super Duty Series. I don't really know what that means. So I do know a thing or two about 90s Fords, and I've learned a thing or two about diesels since the last time we touched them. So I know I can get this one running. Assuming everything's mechanically fine. I know I can get this one running without a key, but I think the steering wheel is going to be locked, so I don't know if we're going to be able to go anywhere without a key. The red one is open, so we can at least get into it and maybe hotwire something. Ah, yes, a thing. I believe this to be a, obviously, direct injection turbo diesel power stroke. I want to say these are a 7.3. Ah yes, 7.3 liter diesel. So, I brought a couple batteries. Oh, this one actually has batteries. Cool. I'm sure they're flat. All right, let's go dig through the interior, look for a set of keys, see if there happens to be one hiding in there. That's kind of what I'm banking on right now. <laughs> it's a toy car. Oh, yeah, we're in. Alright, looking for keys. Oh, hey, no. That's a Chrysler key. Well, look cool. Never. This one is a five speed. It does clunk a dunk, clunk its way through the gears. The gas pedal does move. The brake. Pedal's questionable. Clutch feels okay. This one's a 95. Um, this was 2012, 2010, 2012. We must be missing a doorknob handle. Oh yeah, this side's gone. Keys, 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 center council. Another one? Yeah. You're on it. Oh. There's a water bottle with water in it. Fuse panel's off for some reason. I just hoped that that was a coincidence and they didn't like need it off. Looks like a negative on the keys so far. Let's just check out what's behind the seat over here. Block heater? External power or something? 
No peas. All right, well, that sucks. Um, but before I go hot wiring this, I do have one option that we could test out. Here's my crazy idea that's probably not gonna work at all. These are the keys from the Bronco I used to own in high school. It's the only set of 90s Ford keys I own because it's the only 90s Ford I own. I don't, it's actually been scrapped because I rolled it. But I still have this set of keys and as you can tell, they're old as shit. <laughs> I've had these since I've, well, it's been nine years now. Speaking of nine, there's nine different options of key sets for these trucks. And one of them is a common pin between the door and the ignition. Not looking good. Just some last, last ditch effort before I hot wire stuff. No, what? It's the right set. This works! It works? It works! Yeah, it actually turns to full ignition. Okay, so <laughs> what is that, like an 11% chance? There we go. Now we have a key. Thank you, Bronco. It never stops giving. The engine is in Luke's F100, and I have this key. I think that's about it. Okay, let's get some batteries and see if there's any fuel in this and what else and whatnot and do things and stuff. Yeah, revivals. Alrighty, we got Tang Tools on the job helping us out today. Let's get these batteries changed out and see if anything comes to life. They might be okay. They're probably junk. I'll give them the loop to like pour new acid in them. <laughs> there they go. All right, we got the classic 46,382 accessory wire loom unattached. Now we'll get this old battery out. Ah, look out. Yeah, it's like they froze. Dang it. Why can't I ever find anything with a good battery? I found a cap full of dust. I dropped my, my cap. Want me to switch sides? Never mind. Burger King. Okay, a little burger. <laughs> Apparently that's moves. First thing I'm going to do. Hey, we got power. Wait to start. Water and fuel. There's still water in the fuel. I'm going to roll these down. They work. Hell yes. 90s for the win. This has got 166,000 miles on it. Let's roll the glow plugs a couple times. Fan doesn't work. Won't crank it all. Watch this thing be locked up. I'd be upset. Damn it. Well, so far nothing. Okay, so I know these are weird, like this isn't the actual solenoid. I think there's a secondary solenoid down on the starter. I'm gonna just crawl under this thing, sacrifice myself to be under there and smack some shit with a hammer and we'll see what happens. Thank you. Diesels. This is gonna be entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, this diesel seems to be made of confusion. Oh, that looks like a starter. A really rusty starter, holy shit. I won't want to crank either. Do <laughs> something. If this works, it'll be a freaking Christmas miracle. I don't think we have a starter right now. I hate diesel. It was a solenoid. Okay. We're getting somewhere. I got my cap. Alright, let's go through the process of making sure this piece of crap has diesel. Hang on. 
coming to realization. Yeah, okay. I think I just figured something out. There's this nice handy dandy hatch here on top of this stupid freaking accessory piece. The only reason you would need it in here quickly and often is aha, if there's a fuel pump here, or a fuel filter up here or some shit. I don't know. Still figuring this out as I go. I imagine there's a Schrader valve around here somewhere. Maybe that's a filter right there. I believe. So I should be able to pop this top off and prime that there. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm going to keep Googling things while Mook uh, does that. Just taking the thing off. I hate diesels. Alright, here we are. So, this right here is very hot. I don't know why. <laughs> I believe this to be the glow plug relay right here. Um, this is a fuel filter of sorts. Here's a Schrader valve that I should probably be able to use to um, help prime the system here. Alright, let's get this fuel filter out. Let's see how she looks. Four sixty with a gas would have been great. Okay. I'm gonna be careful not to dump all this crap into the filter. <laughs> you know, defeat the purpose of a filter. <sighs> the mouse poop off. Here we go. Oh boy. So we're gonna add this to the list of stuff we need to grab from O'Reilly's. Um, that's disgusting. All right, I'm gonna try to soak all this "quote unquote" diesel fuel. Oh yuck! What is that? All right, look out, move. Of course, it was like a half gallon. You just drenched your phone. Whoops. <laughs> Definitely know of other ways to pump this out. Like the pump I brought. Ridiculous. So from the looks of it, on the fuel that's sitting right here that's been flying out, looks like there's maybe some water in it. So. Just keep an eye on that as we go here. Hopefully, get all that out. Really hope I don't have to flush a tank somehow. Keep this trough. So, we got most of the liquid out of there. Definitely some water in that sucker. You'll notice I'm on my phone a lot. That's because I'm actually Googling everything as I go instead of annoying people and asking questions about what is this carburetor on Facebook when they could have just, you know, Googled the Holly numbers stamped in the side of it, just like I have to do when you ask. Anyway, Derek from Vice Grip Garage says that my friend is P, not diesel. And the uh, diesel expert here in town I know says, oh my god. So things are going great. Uh, let me steal this from you. Down here in the bottom of the fuel filter bowl, there's a heater element. You can see him right there. Notice how he's broken. Uh, and then notice how the fire trucks are also coming right now. And it's not because we're on fire yet, so it's not even us. Mook, what'd you do? Nothing. Yeah, in time that would probably have to be fixed, but just to get it running, I don't give a shit. So, I think we'll be okay. This is just straight water right now. I'm almost sure of it. Don't eat it. Alright. Got my um, whirly pump here with a random assortment of hoses I found laying around. I'm gonna try to suck out the rest of what is just absolutely definitely water from the bottom of that filter bowl. <laughs> Here, move, hold this and water the grass. Don't worry, it will grow because <laughs> there's no diesel in it. Alright. That's where the poop goes, I guess. Oh, that's pretty rusty. Most of the cap's missing, so I'm sure this is full of water. 
Oh yeah, those are just like what we found in the Thunderbird. I'm not gonna put these ones on my head. Oh, we have so many of these suddenly. Yeah, they do. Man, all these tires are flat. Don't touch the tires. We have actual human money for these. Why do you not have alien money? Kevin. It's stinky. Just to ensure I didn't screw up anything important, I decided to give my buddy Rich from the Boss Garage a quick call. Uh, in, a, yep. in a tow truck, we're trying to get this damn thing running. Uh, pulled the fuel filter out, it looked like a rusty potato. Are you sure you don't need to call the side? <laughs> <laughs> you got the right number? <laughs> Is it a P on the side of the truck or a C? <laughs> yeah, uh, water in those pumps is another day. Got off, but, um, yeah, it, it was separated. The top half was still diesel, so I don't know. Uh, probably okay. Probably okay. So Rich says it's a dumpster fire. Thank you, Rich. Back to the dumpster fire. The sponsor of today's video is Squarespace, the all-in-one platform designed to help you build the perfect website, portfolio, or online store. Setting up a website with Squarespace is easy. In fact, it's so easy I've done it myself. Yeah, me, the carburetor guy, made a website. Go check it out, it's junkyarddigs.com. I simply started with one of their award-winning templates and then used the drag and drop tool to design my very own unique website. Being a YouTuber, I understand the importance of analytics, and with Squarespace, you're provided analytics of your website. Things such as purchase funnels, the time spent on the site, handles all of your inventory. It's honestly really good. And I don't think I'd actually be able to sell merch this efficiently without it. So if you're ready to design your own website, head to squarespace.com and sign up for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, use the code JYD for 10% off your first purchase. Go check it out right now, squarespace.com slash JYD. Speaking of websites, check out junkyarddigs.com, my own site built with Squarespace, where you can see all the awesome merch we have listed. And I got some good news relating to that. The first shirts came in, so fulfillment should start next week. You guys should be getting some shirts in the mail if you've already ordered. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Everyone says this is a crank to prime system. Just hit the Schrader valve, give her hell away she goes. I don't see anything coming out of the standpipe, cranking it a little bit. So I know these are oil ran injectors or some shit, but that's all before after what we're trying to do here. So instead of wearing my batteries all day. I'm gonna give her the old zip tie bias ply method. Hit this with some ether, leave this filter lid off, and see if I see anything coming out of that standpipe. So, to see if we're getting fuel. Um, if we're not, we'll throw some in the tank. It seems like there's liquid in the tank. It might just be water. Something might be clogged. You know, the fuel pump might be shot. I don't know. It's probably all got air in it, and it just needs to crank for a while. So, we're gonna expedite that process with RPM. Just if you want to stand over there. I'm gonna die. I'm sure of it. <laughs> wow. This stuff works pretty good. <laughs> okay, we had liquid of sorts come flying out of the standpipe. And the um, stack is still smoking. Still smoking, yeah. I bet. I don't know if that's actually diesel or just water. I don't know. <laughs> what I know about these injection pumps is they do not like water going through them, so I need to make sure I have just fuel coming through this full this filter bowl before we try to actually run this motor. So, yay. Okay, so I'm gonna place this old filter cap over top so that we can prevent everything from spraying everywhere, even though it's probably water, not very flammable. Um, we're just gonna fill this up about halfway and then just keep siphoning it out without letting it actually get up to the feed points. Happy gas. Happy. In neutral. Oh, 
So we're we're done here. That's a revival. Whoa! It smells like fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> it smells like gunpowder. Okay, let's uh let's see what we got here. Oh wow, look at that. Um Yes, a diesel water slurry, my favorite. Okay, we have disconnected the lines halfway down, or Kevin did, and now we're trying to flush it, drain it, and just get rid of this garbage. Look at that garbage. Get out of there. Also, I found a bursted brake line. Yeah. So our rear brakes need attention. Or just capped off. All right, so we got a couple gallons out of her now. Real slow, painful process. As you can see, it's not something we wanted to run through a motor. <laughs> so, as that's slowing down, be it because my pump is finally dying after two years, or we're actually getting to the bottom of the tank, I'm going to put fresh fuel in and flush that out so that's clear. Can you be quiet with your damn diesel tow truck. I'm trying to get my own damn diesel tow truck going. Have piece of shit. Oh yeah, that's what diesel's supposed to look like. Huh. Jesse keeps stepping on something that makes noise apparently, and now oh, he found a shiny. You found a shiny. It's a mud flap. Oh nice. Is it the one of these? Probably. I know it's an ant flap. Look at the back. <laughs> yes, yes Ants. it is. That's a lot of ants. They're all gone. All right. Okay, well, we think we're about to the point of our diesel. Where we're into clean fuel. If you can even say that for diesel. Um, I do have a can set up. I was thinking about running a reservoir or an external tank to flush out everything in front. So we're gonna do that first. Let this keep running until she's pretty much dry. Bippity bap, boopity boo, good to go. Yay. Look how slow it's going. We're gonna be all night. Yeah. Okay, so. Ugh. The source is plumbed to an external fuel tank of clean diesel. The return from the motor and the mechanical fuel pump is going to go in this bucket. Mook is still working on draining whatever's left in the tank because our pump's about shot, our little whirly pump, so it's taking forever. I'm going to run this off ether to try to get everything in the front half of the fuel system flushed out back through the filter. Probably going to be a disaster. What isn't? Why did he just throw it? I'm going to put our new filter in and let it run through the filter back to the uh, return line. Hopefully quickly flush all that fuel out, get all that water out of there, and not let any of the large chunks or shit get past where there should be a filter. I'm looking at the fuel that's in the bowls right now and it looks healthy enough that I'm not worried about getting as much water in the injector. <laughs> Goodbye beautifully white filter. Never going to be this color again. Enjoy it while it lasts. I'll wait shit. Try this again. Okay, now goodbye, beautifully white filter. Enjoy your home in a diesel. Poor thing. Here's a learning experience. This is what happens when right, you don't ready? let the glow plows cool off after an ignition cycle and the ether causes it to pre-detonate. Yeah, it makes a huge explosion. Make sure you let those cool off before you hit it with ether. And some engines just don't like ether, so use it sparingly.
starter solenoid still, but hey, it runs. Okay, so pro tip, if you're having trouble with one of these and you really want to verify it, take this end, 12 volts positive, and this end to the solenoid. And if you touch it and it goes click, 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 and doesn't do anything, just click it a shitload like I did off camera, and they'll start working. It'll like smack it a whole bunch, get rid of that corrosion, and that solenoid potentially will start working. Three out of five times, this was one of the three. Unfortunately, it happened off camera. But if you're in a pinch. All right, so to cap it off for tonight, we're gonna see if this thing will move under its own power. It's probably got a bunch of flat tires. I can turn the drive shafts like a quarter turn before it engages. That's all fine. We just wanna go there. And then we'll come back tomorrow, fix the brakes, air up the tires, drive it around. Follow up my turbo diesel tow truck. <laughs> anymore from the grave with flat tires talk about bonfire and beers we done it we done it yeah we should have seen it like this emphasis on the fire man we, we have to see if this shit works oh. what are you doing Let's see if this shit works he wants to play with his knobs yeah <laughs> Perfectly good levers over there.
sounded like I might have popped a little thing. Oh, yeah, I see oh. liquid. Right. Where? Oh. I saw it dripping. Yep, we, we popped the stinger line. Place a few hydraulic hoses. Tow truck. Welcome to day two of the tow truck revival. Today we're going to finish the red power stroke truck and get started on our 7.3 IDI. Starting things off with the air compressor to get some air in these flat tires. Then fix the brakes and away we go. Hopefully. Well, that's a problem. Um, thankfully, they're duals. Let's see if the inside one holds air. Yeah, I'm starting to think it's just coming out as fast as I'm putting it in. Right, so these tires are junk. You know what that means we got to do, right? I think we have two good tires on the other side, so we're going to have to take all the back tires off the truck and get one good dual on each side. Assuming we have two good tires over there, I don't know, we probably don't. So what we're doing here is since this rear brake line is blown halfway down, I found the giant hole when I was doing the fuel stuff yesterday. I'm just going to disconnect this and put this quarter inch NPT plug in here so that we will still have pressure to our front brakes and still have brakes, assuming this is the rear. Yeah, I'm going to say it is because it's totally dry. Good enough. Alright, we'll fill this up with fluid, give that a little bleed, and see if we got brakes. Brakes in a bottle. Apparently I should have brought more. Yeah, I gave it half a reservoir, that'll do. All right, up, down. All right, up, down. That should do. of being short. Can't reach in the end of it. Bingo bango. Alright, so we're going to fire this sucker up, see if she wants to start today. Pull it forward and then work on getting some tires on the back. And then get it out of here. Now correct me if I'm wrong in the comments and let me know what you guys think, but I've noticed this truck needs to crank for a few seconds until it builds oil pressure, at which point I stop cranking, key off, key on, try again, and it fires. I believe this is because the fuel injector pump is oil pressure driven. Am I right? And is that normal? Let me know down in the comments. Two good tires over there, no good tires over there. And you can run on one tire on each side. So we're gonna pop the outside one off this side, put it on that side, do a bunch of this, get it go. Science. 
Hopefully we don't die. Yeah, there's always that. This is going to be about all my three and a half ton jack has. Yeah. Okay, let's unbolt this sucker. Okay. Let's put a thousand lug nuts on. That'll go great. Oh, then let's torque them to 10,000. It'll go great. Oh, Jesus. This is going to be a good day. I can already tell. <sighs> Alright, we'll be back. See this one coming. Yeah, there's still one on. The very bottom one is oh. on. This will help. I could see it. The stupid freaking tire nipples in the way. So step 48, take off all of the bolts. Day souls. There's probably a bunch of shit in my hair now. <laughs> okay. Rinse and repeat. Oh, okay. The nipple came off too. Okay. First you gotta compress the ground and then lift the truck. I just broke the jack in half. Don't stick your head in there. I don't even know how to get this down now. <laughs> how old is that jack? Like 2015, 16? Damn it. Okay, so one bottle jack and one brand new floor jack later. We got the old one out. Ugh. Let's try this again. Please last more than five years. Thank you. Asking a lot from that cast iron, to be fair. Come here, you little asshole. This thing is full of loss. Ah. Woo, got him. Damn, it is hot out. He's either dead or really angry now. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you closed their door, now they're mad. Really? Why? What? Why do you let me take off this tire? I punched that one with my actual hand. <laughs> I don't think he died though. No, I saw him fly off. Come here, bitch. Yeah. Nope. I swear to God. Okay. Things I have to do to make money. Try three. Subscribe for more wasp fights. <laughs> should, should I put like hit markers in? Yeah, I didn't hit anything. So I think I know why at least this truck was parked while well, still serviceable. That one's junk. And this one is obliterated. Oh, look at those brakes. That looks like a nightmare I don't ever want to have to deal with, but probably will. For sale. So I think we're just going to be running one wheel each on this sucker. Come on. Come on. Why do we keep doing things with big trucks? Can you tell which hand is my dominant hand? <laughs> the one going faster. All right. 
that's that. Collect all our chromes. Throw the other tires on the back of the truck. Drop this thing on the ground. Torque the other side. It's ready to drive. <laughs> we're finally to the point. We're going to drive this thing from the spot it's sitting right now. Do a couple practice laps up and down this alley. And then drive her home to the shop. And get started on part two of this video. Which is the 7.3 Turbo IDI truck over here. Oh, this truck has DOT numbers. I wonder if that's a problem. <laughs> Can I, like, legally drive this? I believe so, it's not air brakes. Fuck it, here we go. some oil pressure first and then sh stop and then do it again and it'll go. There's the oil. There it is. Stop. I don't know why. Diesel things, you know? faster when I hit him, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, that was a non-synchronized first gear. <laughs> good. That turbo kicks in and spools a bit. That's, that's pretty fun.
right, so that's going to do it for episode one of the dual tow truck revival. For part two, we're going to be doing that black tow truck, kind of similar thing, but it might be pretty interesting, so I suggest you guys go check it out, because who knows what's going to happen this time. I thought this would be pretty easy. It was a roller coaster. So I want to thank Junkyard Mook for all the help, my brother for filming. Make sure you guys go subscribe to all my friends, Thunderhead289, Dylan the Cool, The Boss Garage, Vice Grip Garage, Classic Mustangs 429, Cars and Cameras. I'm missing somebody. Junkyard Mook. That's good enough. We'll see you guys next time, Junkyard Digs. Peace. Okay. <laughs>